Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Augusto Argandonia Fine Arts. Anytime in this narrated tutorial you can click on the subscribe channel subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn about my virtual classes um, you may do so in my website at aafinearts.com. This tutorial is about how to paint a simple, mundane type uh, street scene. Uh, every morning I take my early morning walks and I always uh, like to take some photographs of little areas, streets, houses and vegetation that catches my eye. This particular scene would happen to be in a neighborhood not too far from where I live and um, it was a uh, morning after a rain it had rained the night before and everything was nice and crisp this time of the year uh, here in Florida it is uh, you know it's, it's, it's hot and muggy but um, when it rains at night and in the morning it's nice and everything is clean and crisp so uh, what caught my eye in this particular location was the bright sunlight against that uh, wall of uh, one of these houses. And uh, so that would be basically my focal area. But uh, also the, the scene with the palm trees and the trees, the deciduous trees in the background was a uh, you know, very, very nice setting. So that's how we with a lot of very long morning shadows. So that's the way I'm going to paint it. So without much ado, let's get to the fun part of this tutorial, and that is the, the painting part. Okay, I'm gonna start by doing the sky area. There was quite, quite a few parts of the scene were in the shade so, and they were, behind me there were some very tall trees casting a very, very long shadows on this, on this property. So, there will be some fairly dark areas, but um, the sky was pretty much very pristine blue. So that's the way I'm gonna paint it. No, no, no clouds. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water here and there. And I'm gonna bring in some Cobalt blue, quite a bit of it, uh, mixed with a little bit of uh, cerulean blue. And I'm going to add some of those colors right here, paint that sky. Like I said, it'll be fairly blue. Uh, I'm going to bring a little bit, while the paper is still wet, I'm going to bring more of that, those colors quite very quickly so the the paper doesn't dry up on me. My lights produce quite a bit of uh, uh, not heat. Well, they, they produce produce heat, but um, more than that, I also have the air conditioner on, and it's, the vent is almost above my desk, so it uh, paper dries fairly fast. What you see in here is the granulation produced by the cerulean blue. And I, the combination of cerulean blue and cobalt blue gives you a very, very beautiful uh, color, sky color. But I'm going to bring in a little bit of uh, cobalt blue and ultramarine blue also, uh, some areas here, before the paper dries completely. There we are. I like that. Just give it a little bit more variation to the sky area. The, the least amount of time that you spend in the sky, the better you will be. So I'm gonna let that dry uh, because that's enough. Now look at the granulation of the cerulean blue. That's a, that color is a really beautiful color. It does, has some very, very nice qualities. Now, while that is drying, I'm gonna do the, the grassy areas. Uh, for that, I'm going to use uh, 
some uh, aureole in yellow. I may use, um, let's see, I think um, I'm going to put a little bit more aureole in yellow in my palette. Should have done that earlier, but never too late. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use uh, uh, some aure aureole in yellow with the uh, raw sienna and bring some of that cerulean blue into, into it and some of the blue that's already already in my palette. Bring a little bit more of this raw sienna. And I come down over here. Everything was kind of very nice green. I'm going to miss those those tree trunks and this driveway. There we are. There, yeah, like that. And um, let's straighten this up a little bit. I'm going to bring a little bit more of the aureole in yellow and the raw sienna. And uh, it's a very sunny looking color for the grass. A little bit more cerulean blue also. Here yeah, like that. And uh, I'm going to bring all the way here. A little bit more cerulean blue. There we are. Most of this is going to be dark when I put the shadows, but for now I'm going to just leave it like this. Like I said, I'm going to miss those uh, tree trunks, palm tree trunks. And I'm going to bring also a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue into that mixture. Especially over here, make this grassy area a little darker. I'm also going to bring in a little bit more uh, raw sienna with that ultramarine. Give a little bit of a warm touch to that grassy area. And I'm also going to bring in some quinacridone gold, which is a really beautiful color. Combined with blues, makes a wonderful green. See, it kind of warms up. You can, depending on how much you want, how much uh, cool or warm greens you want, you can do that with the quinacridone gold. Okay, that's, I'm gonna bring this some over here and over here too. And the grassy areas in front of these houses are done for now. Okay, I think, I'm going to bring a little bit more of the aureole in yellow. To this area, just a little bit more, just give it a little bit more sunny look to it. There's a few areas over here too. Like I said, this will be darker later. Some over here too. There. In my brush. Pick up a little bit more of the raw sienna and come over here and before my paper dries completely there. Okay, the grassy area is done. Now I'm going to change brushes and I'm going to take a round brush and I'm going to paint the houses. This house is yellow and the other house has sort of a sea foam green. I'm going to start with that. Uh, so for that, so I'm going to pick up some uh, manganese blue and um, probably, hmm, probably a little bit of uh, cobalt blue. No, no, manganese blue and uh, yeah, manganese blue and yellow ochre. 
that, that will do it. Now this, this wall is also very light, like that. Almost white, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of color. Uh, same thing over here, this wall. Because of the distance, I don't mind going over the trunks of the palm trees there. I'm gonna bring a little bit more of the manganese blue, uh, especially on this wall over here. And this wall. And then I'm gonna bring in um, a little bit more of the yellow ochre with the manganese and um, this wall is going to be darker. Okay, I'm going to let this dry because when I come back with, this, with the darker colors, I don't want that to, to blend too much. This is going to remove that there. Okay, now for this uh, other wall, I'm going to change brushes to flat brush. I'm going to leave this pretty much white, but I'm going to pick up some uh, yellow ochre with the uh, aureole in yellow. And come over here and do this wall. This whole thing, I'm going to do that. Uh, that um, there's a garage door here that's white, but um, I think what I'm going to do is rather than doing that, I'm going to do the whole thing in that color. Okay, now I'm going to increase the. Uh, I'm going to think I'm going to bring some new gambosh into that area. Yep, new gambosh. Uh, a little bit more of the yellow ochre and go over here. Uh, there we are. That's the color I wanted. I'm going to leave that garage door a little light. There we are. There. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to do the shadow side of the um, overhang from the from the roof. For that, I'm going to use a little more uh, yellow ochre and come back over here like that. There are some palm trees over there, so I'm gonna make sure that I do that. I'm also bringing a little bit of uh, the aureole and yellow into that too. There, I'm gonna let that dry. That might be too much. That's okay, I'm gonna let that dry. And also, I'm gonna do the roofs. Uh, I'm gonna, for that, I'm going to pick up a little bit of uh, brown matter, burnt amber, uh, mostly burnt amber and uh, ultramarine blue. Make a con sort of a gray color, light gray, and this roof here. There, like that. and um, get some water in my brush and uh, do this roof that's on the sunny side there like that this house has a more, more of a browning brown type roof so I'm going to use more burnt amber with a little touch of sepia and uh, Come over here, 
That now pick up some more ultramarine mix there and um, to this this roof this side of this roof that's on the shade yeah flat brushes are ideally suited for some something like this there we are okay I think I want to do a little bit more of the this roof, the darker. Okay, uh, that's pretty much done. Now, um, check my sky. It's almost dry. This um, blossoms over here are looking really good too. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just link those the way they are. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna make a mixture of uh, brown matter and um, ultramarine, mostly the ultramarine, and do this, this street with a very light color for now. I'm painting this on dry paper. Just a little bit more water in my brush. A little bit more of the same colors, brown matter and ultramarine blue for this uh, pavement color. There like that. Keep it kind of light for now. I'm gonna increase the ultramarine a little bit more. There, like that. All right. Let that dry. Bring that all the way to the edge of the grass. For now, like that, and let it dry. Now comes the. Now comes the fun part. Do all the vegetation. That's dry. Yeah, but this is dry. So okay. So I'm gonna. Get my round brush, um, pick up some, um, some of the yellow that's in my palette, a little bit more uh, raw sienna to it. And there's some groupings of palm trees over here, lower, shorter palm trees. And there's some over here too. Like that, and uh, some of like that. There's one there, like this. And well, I'm before that dries, I'm gonna bring in some cerulean blue into that mixture. Like that. Also, I'm gonna bring some quinacrid on gold deep because there's, there's some of that close colors here too. Like that. And I'm gonna bring in some uh, under sea green and um, sepia and burnt and um, pinks gray for some of the light, darker colors. Very dark greens here. Like that. Bring some Manganese blue with the yellow that I have in my palette. Like 
they just get those colors there like that. And the same thing with this palm tree here that's in the shade, I mean, rather in the sunlight, like that there. And let that dry. Uh, there's a different types of uh, vegetation in front of the house. So I'm gonna do that also. Walkway somewhere between behind this vegetation here. And there's a palm, little palm tree over here too, like that. And uh, next to the other house also has some some vegetation. I'm going to use a different type of green. All these greens are nice and bright. That morning was really very, very pretty. Bring some uh, paints gray. Add a few darker areas over here. And like that. Especially over here too. Very dark greens on the shadow side. And over here on the bottom portion of the and give me a little bit more texture there, like that. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna clean my brush and pick up some of the grayish color that was in my that I used for here for the street, and I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit with water and add a top, a little bit of uh, brown sienna to it, and come over here and do this. Uh, palm tree, and like that, this trunk also, of this other palm tree, there, in fact I'm going to do the same thing with all the palm trees, it's a little bit more brown here, Also, some of this are catching, uh, are getting out of the shade. This palm tree is going to get quite a bit of shade, so where the paper is still kind of damp, I'm going to add some of those shade, shade colors. There, like that. And the left side of this palm tree will be in the shade too. We have a little bit of shadow there. And a little bit of a shadow on the top of the, there like that. Something with this one. Anyway. This lower area will be all in the shade. I may darken this later, but for now, we're gonna do it like this. There. All right. Um, now, before everything dries um, completely, I'm gonna start doing the shadow side of these walls. So I'm gonna bring in more of the yellow ochre on this wall here. A little bit 
there's a light area there. This is gonna be deep in the in the shadow area. Like that. Same thing with this. There. And immediately after that I'm gonna bring in some ultramarine blue. Because of all the grass in front is getting reflective color from the grass. So I'm gonna remove some of that. There, like that. The other side, this other wall is gonna get a little bit of sepia with a cobalt blue, make a gray. And this wall too. There's that garage door. There, like that. In fact, I'm going to bring some of that over here, not too much. There, like that. Okay. And um, bring some of those colors on this shadow area that's cast by the roof. There. All right. Um, the other house will have a similar treatment, but for that I'm going to use uh, manganese blue with a little bit of cobalt blue on this wall and the shadows. The shadow side and uh, all the other other shadows bring some sepia there too of these shadows. I'm gonna make those a little darker. Manganese and sepia. You like that? Yeah. This darker. Those darker areas there. There. All right. And um, so that's it. That's the way that's going to be. I'm going to bring some more yellow ochre with the sepia and a little bit of uh, ultramarine. This tree is catching, casting a shadow on this wall. There, like that. Now, all of this dry here, I'm gonna wait for that. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to do the palm trees. I'm gonna pick up some burnt amber, a little bit of sepia, do the top of this uh, palm trees. And a little bit more burnt amber. dry fronds that are on the top. Then clean my brush and pick up some uh, permanent sub green. With a little bit of uh, 
I think from what I use uh, raw amber, not much, and some uh, cobalt blue. And come over here and do this palm trees. Like that. A little bit more water in my brush. These are queen palms. Well, this, the, the fronts of these two palms are pretty much together, so I'm going to combine them. mixture for some of the darker fronds. Like that. When you paint palm trees, this type of palm, queen palms, or just about any type of palm, the best way to paint them is to move the brush quick. Don't stay in one area long, too long. The, long the, the, the quicker you move the brush, the better it will be. Start doing some of the darker fronts now. Like that. There. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Bring a little bit of a the raw amber into this. My brush is almost dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. Kind of like that. Maybe some raw sienna mix there, kind of warm up a little bit some of these palms. Again, move the brush quickly. Don't stay in one area too long. A little bit more color. This palm is going to be getting quite a bit of shade, so I'm going to bring a lot more ultramarine blue into that with the green, and uh, it will be very dark. In fact, I'm going to bring more dark, much darker colors. This, like I said, this palm is in the shade, cast by the tree that's behind. He was behind me when I took the photograph. This is the way queen palms look like when you paint them with watercolors. Like that. Make this a little longer. Like that, there we are. And uh, bring that much darker color over here. I think I'm going to do some of that darker over here too. Like 
There. All right. Now I'm going to do the trees behind the, all these structures. For that, I've been going to use primarily raw amber. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a little bit of water to the background. Making sure that I don't touch those tree trunks, but bring the water over here, and closer to the roofs, and over here. Because all of this is going to be kind of soft. All right, so now I'm going to bring the raw amber mixed with uh, cerulean blue. Put a bit of the cerulean blue and the raw amber. And come over here and do the oak trees that are in the background. This is going to be much darker. This is, this is the base color. And like that. Get all that color right there. I'm gonna bring a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit of sepia there, and um, on the sea green. There we are. There. And where the paper is. Um, where the paper is dry, I'm going to use the side of the brush to do the shapes of those that foliage against that sky, like that. And then continue with the, with the colors, some of that brownish tint, typical of the oak trees. Bring some of the more, more of the cerulean blue here. And do this over here. There, like that. Come down like that. Bring all the way down to the, to the roof of the houses. I'll re refine those edges later. For now, my aim is to get all this color of these trees behind the houses. There, like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water. color bring it all the way down here pick up that moisture there there we are I think I put some water close to the roof, so I'm gonna make sure that that's, I remove that. I'm gonna bring a different type of green over here too. A cooler green. Yeah, like that. So now, while that's drying, I'm going to pick up more of the undersea green a little bit more of sepia and the uh, paint gray. Start darkening some of these areas. Well, the paper in these areas are st still damp. 
make these three trunks and the houses stand out. Now we have to be a little bit more careful with these roofs. There we are. Have a bit of burnt amber mixed there too. A different type of uh, brownish green. There we are. There. A little bit more of the burnt amber and the sea green and paints gray in this area. Make this really dark. A lot of shade there. More ultramarine blue to also kind of cool this down. And like that. Same thing here, cool it down. Over here, I'm going to tone this down a little bit more. Can be careful with that roof. here put some palm trees yeah. like that now I'm gonna get some damp brush soften some of these edges too. Bring that green right into that area like that. And like that, the background is done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and um, do the, the all the details in the houses. Come on, computer, wake up. Some brown matter, some ultramarine blue. And come over here and uh, through this window. There, like that. A little bit of sepia there. And over here, there's a door. And the window over here has some shutters, black shutters. Uh, I put another small window over here. and this window. Yeah, like that.
this there's a window on this wall there's a small window over here too a long window a door and a bay window it's probably the living room and on this wall there's a small window there and another window there and now I'm going to get this a little bit more of those colors and finish off this uh, detail shapes so I'm gonna come over here and paint the shape of that roof same thing here and leave this roof very light there there we are and that's pretty much done um, I'm gonna pick up some of the yellow and come back and put a little bit of a wall there where that garage door is and get some of this gray and bring that a little bit more like that gray it down a little bit and that's pretty much it for that now I'm gonna get some more cobalt blue with the brown matter and darken these trunks as shadow areas especially here this is going to be all in this shade like that. This other palm tree trunks are gonna be in the sunlight. So I'm gonna make them brown. There. Okay, so now here comes the really fun part. I'm gonna take uh, more brown matter. Quite a bit of uh, ultramarine blue. Yeah. And they come those long shadows. Quite a bit of cobalt blue actually. Cobalt blue instead. There, like that. A bit more of the brown matter. Some, um, some of the ultramarine blue, put a bit of it with the uh, undersea green, a little bit of paints gray, a little bit of the oriel and yellow, not too much. Uh, can we come back over here and do this 
shadow areas too. Combine those colors, those shadows, combine them. shadows are coming around here from the trees behind me when I took the photograph. there and come over here and do this shadows over here too. Long shadows. trunks a little bit more. There, all the way to the base. A little bit more blue here. There, because they are in the shade. And I can see right now that I'm going to need to darken this wall a little bit more. There, we are like that. Same thing with this and that shadow area, area there. This. And that's it. So now I'm going to get most of the water from my brush. And while this is We'll remove some of this color, pick up some of the highlights on the sunny side of this grassy area. But at the same time, I have to do this dry weight with some shadows over here. Like that. There. And uh, get some of my dry brush and pick up some of the color. Like that. I'm going to wait for that. And now I will, uh, I'm going to remove the tape, bring a dark board. And uh, you will see how this looks like. Come on, take. There we are. I'm gonna wait until the lower area of the street is dry before I sign it. And bring a dark board. And uh, there it is. I'm going to minimize it. And there it is. Early morning, long shadows on a pristine morning day, morning here in Sarasota, Florida. 
Thank you for watching. Hope, hope you enjoyed my painting. Um, please visit my website at aafinearts.com. Um, subscribe to my channel and send me your comments about this video or for that matter any of the other videos in my channel. Thank you again. Until next time.